हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्राची कुलकर्णी फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट 49 फर्टिलिटी सेंटर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी सो व्हाट इज हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी हाउ इट इज डन व्हाट इश्यूज आर डेल्ट विद द प्रोसीजर ऑफ हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी सो हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी इज एक्चुअली एन एंडोस्कोपिक प्रोसीजर व्हिच मींस इट इज मिनिमली इनवेसिव एंड इट इज डन टू विजुअलाइज द इनसाइड ऑफ द यूट्राइन कैविटी so there is a hysteroscope which is half the size of a pen and a camera is attached to the hysteroscope so that when we enter the uterus with the hysteroscope we can visualize the inside of the cavity on a separate screen which is attached to the uh, camera so if suppose this is an hysteroscope what we do is we enter through the vagina we see the natural opening of your uterus which is the cervix and we take the hysteroscope inside the uterine cavity through the cervix so after reaching the uterine cavity what we see is inside of the uterine cavity which is the fundus of the uterus the openings of the tubes and the cavity of the uterus which also tells me about how your endometrium is are there any adhesions is there any septum is there any polyp is there any submucous fibroid so whatever is going inside the uterine cavity i can visualize after putting in the hysteroscope with the camera over here in the uterine cavity what i cannot see is outside of the uterus i cannot see the outside of the tubes i cannot see the ovaries so for that purpose what is required is laparoscopy but today we are discussing hysteroscopy so hysteroscopy usually is advised for any problems to deal with the uterus so what can be these problems uh, in we can divide these problems related to infertility or gynecological general gynecological problems so general gynecological problems could be heavy menstrual bleeding to diagnose any uh, polyp or to uh, take care of any polyp or even for the procedures where uh, we will uh, curate the lining of the uterus with the thermal energy so that it as a treatment for the aub or abnormal uterine bleeding so these are the gynecological indications for the hysteroscopy sometimes even for the sterilization procedures wherein we can put the a uh, spring like equipments inside the tubal openings we can perform it hysteroscopically so this is about the gynecological indications what could be the indications in fertility is we need to see inside of the uterine cavity to rule out any minor adhesions any uh, problems with the lining of the uterus uh, any polyps uh, in the uterus which is diagnosed on sonography or any submucous fibroid or any septum of the uterus which may require correction so what we it can be diagnostic hysteroscopy or it can be an operative hysteroscopy usually we perform more more often which is operative hysteroscopy because most of these things are diagnosed on ultrasonography so what we do is if suppose polyp is present polyp is a growth of the endometrial layer which is a benign growth so after reaching inside of the uterine cavity we look for that polyp we approach the base of the polyp and we cut the polyp from the base so this polyp now can be sent for histopathology and it is out so that now next cycle you can undergo your fertility treatment like embryo transfer and uh, the once the polyp is removed the chances definitely improve if there are any adhesions adhesions means the lining of the uterus getting stuck to each other by fibrous strands so if we see such fibrous strands inside the uterine cavity what we can do is adhesiolysis we cut open those adhesions with the scissors so that now uterus is now open to receive the uh, embryo in the next cycle so that it becomes more uh, implantation chances improve so this is about the adhesions so if we can take care of the adhesions we can remove the polyp if there is any septum in the uterine cavity we can cut the septum and make the cavity adequate before you conceive in ivf cycle before embryo transfer also if we see any submucous fibroid means the fibroid which is going inside the uterine cavity we can remove that submucous fibroid also hysteroscopically so that uh, next cycle you can undergo your embryo transfer procedure and uh, so that you can uh, 
proceed with your treatment further. So this is about the hysteroscopic procedures. So hysteroscopy can be operative, can be diagnostic. Operative hysteroscopy can take care of polyp, your abnormal uterine bleeding, submucous fibroid, adhesion, septum. Also, uh, operative hysteroscopy will tell me about if any history of abnormal uterine bleeding, any particular area which looks abnormal or polypoidal, we can take a guided biopsy from that particular area for better diagnosis. When we take a bi biopsy, which is like a blind procedure, just by putting in a biopsy catheter and taking out the sample, it's always better to have a look at the cavity and take the biopsy from the area which looks more suspicious. So this is about the hysteroscopy. So how it is done? It's a daycare procedure. So usually we advise the patients to come uh, NBM that is without eating or drinking anything. And this procedure is done under short general anesthesia. After the anesthesia, you will not come to know the, the uh, procedure when it is happening. After the procedure, once you are awake, you may experience little vaginal spotting or mild abdominal pain only for a day or two. Uh, so this is about the uh, hysteroscopy procedure. So uh, we usually advise these procedures before uh, IVF embryo transfer cycle. If at all there are failed transfers, if at all there is presence of polyp or septum or submucous fibroid so that we can correct these factors and improve your chances of pregnancy. Thank you.